Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, let's see. My batteries are no longer no longer fully charged. They're back to a charge mode. It is 120 give or take. Um 27.7 degrees, 49% humidity. It is still the 31st of July, Friday, 81.6. So welcome back to the Horde. I'm kind of uh, scrapping out a few things today. And I figured I'd show you these, uh, I don't know, I kind of call them like uh, golf cart lawnmowers or whatever you guys think the best name for them is. You kind of sit on them like a golf cart rather than a tractor. I guess uh, open floor mowers. I don't know. Crappy mowers? Yeah, that'll work. Crappy mowers. These things are nothing more than riding wall mowers. They are not to be confused with a tractor of any kind. Having trouble with my upside down again. I think, uh, I think this poor camera's shot. Anyway, I'm right side up, so let's hope it lasts for a few minutes. Um, easiest way to take these apart is to have them hanging like this. I pulled the uh, deck off, just like the last one. Uh, this, this one's made out of a little heavier metal. Um, I guess I was going to cut it and just keep the front end and tail end, but it looks like I'm going to leave this thing whole. That's what the rear end looks like. This is the engine pull. The engine's free. Um, that used to disengage engage and disengage the uh, the blades. So the mower deck hung from the front here. You guys could see it's all pretty much stamped steel. It's all pretty much crap. They put these extra bumpers on the front and there was a plastic thing full of cement to keep the rear end down. I guess if you uh, put a basket on the back for catching grass, it got pretty light up front. This is for setting heights. Um, you know, differential rear end. When you turn it one way, it turns the opposite. I didn't, you know what, I'm not sure. This is probably a little better made. The metal's thicker. You could probably beat around on this thing for a while longer. Anyway, I'm going to bring it in the back and put it next to its little friend. Anybody in the mood for a tractor ride? Let's take a quick tractor ride. What the hey? One has to be a bit careful getting on and off this thing. It was made in China, and uh, which it's been good, having any problems with it from that point of view. But I just mentioned that uh, trying to do the compression release with one foot. Typically that's how easy it starts. I want to get out of here without creaming my new truck. That would make me cranky. This thing has a high low range, plus four speeds, plus reverse, so I guess that gives me an eight speed transmission. When you're doing what I'm doing, you got to pay attention for a couple of different reasons. First of all, with the loader up this high, the tractor's a touch unstable. 
Secondly, you gotta watch the trees, obviously. It's the last thing you wanna do is knock a beehive down on yourself or, you know, tear a branch off and drop it on your head. The definition of a widow maker. So, you gotta be, pay a little bit of attention. Now these things don't roll very well, so it's best if I place them right in position. You can see what I did with the last one. Lowering these down is always interesting because it seems like the second you take the tension off the chains, they really enjoy unhooking, at which time, you know, you kind of drop the whole thing. All right, come on, lower. Go for a little reverse in low range. We're going to try to do this so we don't drop it. And so far we're doing really lousy. If I can't pull it up and around. No. Gonna make me get off. Okay. That's who made this rig, if anybody cares. I guess you guys could see what I'm up to, where I'm putting these things. My, I'd like to get a wood and go between the two, and then put a tarp over them so that they're semi-protected.
Here we are. Well, folks, hope you're enjoying the tractor ride. Hope you're enjoying the video. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, your head up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. You don't know how many you're going to get, so make sure you enjoy them. Well, All right, folks, once again, thanks for watching and commenting, subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. You don't know how many you're going to get, so jump on a diesel tractor and go for a romp. Bye now.